Good morning, parents. How's it going? Haven't heard that for a while, have you? So, I'd like to take this time to congratulate the parents of uh, the groups out there in Frederick County who helped David Savine, the most divisive superintendent in the history of Frederick County Schools, understand that it was time for him to move on. And uh, I hope he uh, enjoys his commute to uh, Maryland. Um, I hope he uh, maybe has learned a lesson and will treat the parents and students where he is now superintendent with a little more respect and dignity than he did with Frederick County parents and students. Now, we got rid of that guy and there was all sorts of stuff going on with interim superintendents. We had a interim superintendent who came in, I figured would probably do a pretty good job and he left for quote unquote personal reasons. Now there's a ton of rumors flying about that I won't even get into about what did or did not transpire that led him from suddenly wanting closer ties with the Board of Supervisors to just deciding it was time to jump ship. Um, not even going to get into that. We have a new interim, a guy that I'm not particularly pleased with uh, because he is one of the folks that helped hire David Savine, once again, the most divisive superintendent in the history of Frederick County Public Schools. But there's no sense dwelling on that because we are working on getting a new superintendent. There was recently a uh, school board meeting uh, that was uh, kind of hurriedly brought along. And during the meeting, um, they were introducing and speaking with an independent consulting firm that's coming in to help with picking the right candidate or at least parsing the candidates for the superintendent's job in Frederick County Schools. Now, I don't have an issue with that. Um, you're gonna bring in a consulting firm who knows who everyone is, is going to be able to look at the candidates, spend a lot of time pouring over qualifications, and uh, I don't have an issue with that. I think that's probably money well spent. But there were a few things during the meeting that set off alarm bells, started waving red flags. I kept hearing the word confidentiality or confidential. I kept hearing that bannered about. And while I do understand, like in the closed door sessions, that there is certain amounts of uh, information that needs to be protected for personal uh, security and personal uh, privacy. I don't like the fact that a lot of times confidentiality is simply a way to subvert transparency. Now, we had issues with transparency in this past year. We had issues with transparency from a budget. We've had issues with transparency for the way a lot of decisions were being made. And I would hope that the current school board, and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you guys in case any of you all are bothering to listen. Um, transparency was an issue in the last year. And a lot of parents, such as myself, are not particularly happy when confidentiality is simply a way that we cover up for transparency we get rid of transparency we decide that you don't believe we need to understand certain things you don't believe we need to hear certain things because they will be a fly in the ointment they will cause parents to rise up and give you a raft of nonsense uh, the transparency issues are real guys and you folks on the school board need to understand um a lot of parents aren't happy, and they're still not happy. They may not be as vocal, 
they're not happy. They're not happy about what we ended up having to go through this past year. And the transparency issues, you know, let me, let me be upfront and I've said it before myself and other folks didn't get involved until we saw something wrong. And it may have been wrong before. It may have been hidden. It might've been hiding in plain sight. The point is we're involved and you want to continue to go business as usual. You want to continue trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. It's not going to end for good for you. And when I say not going to end good for you, I'm talking about at the ballot box. I'm not talking about somebody's going to do terrible things to your person. Let's be realistic about it. That's, that's a bunch of victimhood nonsense. And you guys are supposed to be leaders, not victims. Okay? So when you want to play the victim and you want to have uh, a deputy from the sheriff's department escort you to your car, um, no, nah, dude. Dude, you're, you're, you think way too much of yourself. If you think that somebody's going to walk up and put a knuckle sandwich on you, you think way too much of yourself. Um, it also goes to tell you what sort of folks you think are coming to the meetings. You, you think we're all a bunch of brutes. You think that for some reason we are going to do terrible things to you. Now, make no mistake, most of us care more about our kids than we'll ever care about anything else. And that's a distinct part of reality. But if you think that somebody's going to come put a knuckle sandwich upside you, oh, it, I've, I've heard tons of things, and, and I'll, I love you leftists out there. Keep watching. It, it pumps my numbers up. Um, try to say that I'm violent. Try to say that I'm inciting violence. I'm not inciting violence at all. It's, it's amazing to me how when people um, are opposite of you, first thing you want to say is they're violent. I'm, I'm not an unviolent man. I served in the military. You have to be willing to do a certain amount of violence. Uh, you have to be willing to do a certain amount of violence to do some of the jobs I've done. I'm not going to hide that. In my personal life, I'm a very unviolent person. You want to, uh, you know, the only time, the only time most parents are like that. They're not going to be violent until you come to their house and you mess with their kids and do that do things to their kids, do things to their household. Um, and I'm not talking about making decisions that go against what I'm talking physically harm our children. So when you want to have deputies walk you out to your car, you know, I understand some of you guys have a big, bad sports career. And uh, the fact that uh, you have to have a deputy walk you out to your car I find that uh, comical, very, very comical, to say the least. Um, but I'm hoping that everybody understands that um, we want transparency and we want some of these names to come forward. Why? Because we don't want to have a guy like the last guy. We don't want to have a guy who has had legal issues in his previous job, that has had trouble in his previous job, may have been a school principal, had a couple of lawsuits, had a history of uh, defending coaches that like to yell and scream at uh, female athletes. Because when that happens at your previous job, somewhere else, and then it comes up here and we have situations where the exact same sort of thing were happening at one of the schools. Uh, you know, this is, this is the same thing happening again and again and again. And I think as parents, we all need to get together and make sure the same things don't happen again and again and again. And I'll tell you, I may be totally off the mark. And if you disagree with me, that's fine. And we have the right to disagree. Everybody's going to have a different opinion of how to go about things. But I think as a whole, we need to concentrate on what we have in common. In common is our children's future. We may have different opinions of how to go about it, but I think we all ought to dedicate ourselves to making sure that we all work together. And I've said this before, back 
early on in the mask debates. Well, we should do this. We should do that. We should do the other. We should do this. Yes, we should do it all. And I will help anybody who wants to, in any way that I can. Um, if I disagree with you, it's okay for me to say I disagree with you. Don't get butt hurt. Don't get upset. It's okay for you to disagree with me. I'm big boy. I know I can be wrong. I've been wrong in my lifetime. I've been married a couple times. So I make mistakes. The whole thing is that we need to work together. We need to be cohesive. We need to stop the nonsense and division. And uh, I think one of the biggest things that really, really irks me is we sit here and we talk about our children. Our children, our children, our children, our children. My children are more important to me than my ego. And I want that to sink in because a lot of bruised egos seem to be more important than your children. And I think you need to come to grips with that. I think you need to come to grips with that. You need to come to grips with just because you don't agree with someone does not make them your enemy. And there are a few folks that have really got aggravated with me. I, I still don't think less of you. If you think less of me, that's a you problem. That's not a me problem. And I think a lot of uh, parents need to understand that. And we all need to be adults for our children's sake. Anyhow, folks, that's all I got to say. If you thought it was a good message, hey, that's cool. If you thought it was a bad message and I'm embarrassing you or I'm infuriating you, you can let me know. I got thick skin. But I think we all need to get a grip on things or we're going to find ourselves back in the same mess we were at the beginning of the year. Take care. Bye.